everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video we are gonna see the part 2 of java technical interview questions in the previous video which i've done i have explained some questions and in this video let's see a few more questions uh, the first one says what is the wrapper class in java they provide mechanism to convert primitive into object and object into primitive java is a object oriented lab, programming language right so this wrapper class will provide us a mechanism to convert primitive into objects and objects into primitive okay so what is the purpose of the keywords final finally and finalize okay they are a bit confusing but still let's try to understand them clearly so first is final if a variable is marked as final we cannot change its value suppose uh, we have marked like final of a is equal to 10 then the value will be 10 throughout the program through the entire program the value says as 10 itself you have no chance to change the value and next comes the um, and final is used for classes to stop inheritance so in the case of classes you will be using final to stop inheritance so that no other class can be inherited from that particular class and also used for methods to stop overriding and in case of methods you use this final method to stop overriding which means uh, you know what function overriding is right you can uh, like you know change uh, you can override the function so in methods if you use this keyword of final you cannot override that particular method again okay the next finally finally is used to uh, you know place important code and that code executes if exception is handled or not even though the exception is handled or not if you mention it in the finally block that code will be executed irrespective of the exception the next comes the finalize and finalize keyword is used to clean up just before the object is sent for garbage collection so that's very simple you can understand it clearly i guess and the next comes so uh, first let's uh, you know again look at each of them final you cannot change the value of declare with final and finally it is used to place the important code that means even if the exception is handled or not it will be executed and finalize keyword is used just before the object is sent for the garbage collection right so the next question we have is can you override a private or static method in java uh, so the answer is no because a private method cannot be overridden because it cannot be seen from any other class okay so uh, for this question the answer would be probably no you cannot uh, override a private method because it cannot be uh, it is not visible by any other class right so you cannot override a private private or static that itself says that it is confined to that particular method only right what is the difference between a string buffer function and string builder function both of them are string functions so what is the difference between both of them string buffer this operations are thread safe and they are synchronized simply you can say like they are uh, that safe is also an important word to remember but this synchronized word is very important the next comes it's not safe and not synchronized what string buffer sorry string builder string builder is not safe and also not synchronized okay and this should be used when multiple strings multiple threads are working on the same string it is used in single threaded environment that means you can use this in multi-threaded environment and you can use this in single threading environment okay and the performance is not faster as string builder because of no synchronization and the performance is faster in this case okay uh, i'm uh, sorry actually the they have to be uh, you know the reverse order uh, so and the next question we have is what is an exception uh, you know what exception is right it is an unexpected event so an exception in java is considered as an ex unexpected event that's that can disrupt the normal flow of program that means uh, whatever in the normal flow that means however the how the program executes regularly that flow that um, will be disturbed because of the exception and how can you fix this exception you can fix the, fix the exception by using the mechanism of exception handling and uh, in most of the times they will be asking you how exception handling is done in java or how exception handling is done in c++ also i'll explain you that also how exception handling is done uh, and uh, so yeah that's all for this video a very uh, short video um, and in the next coming video i'll be covering uh, remaining questions also so till then stay tuned to my channel and if you have not yet subscribed do subscribe and also share it with your friends and that's all
if you have understood the video if the video was helpful for you hit the like button and also comment down what you feel about the video so let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic and that's all for this video stay tuned to my channel and also comment if you are still having any doubts and that's all let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another